So, about the Sheik Bayo matchup, this is the sort of matchup where it's very contested from a bunch of different viewpoints. Mm -hmm. It's so split down the middle to a point where there are people who will tell you it's even, people who will tell you Bayo wins, and people who will tell you Sheik wins. Yep. There's no agreeing upon this matchup. All we know is that Sheik is a character that can contest Bayo for a couple of different reasons. Uh, one of the reasons being really good damage and throw combos. Another reason is the up throw 50-50 that can lead into kills at the higher percents. Yep. I love seeing that at top level, especially the mix up between Vanish and up air. Of course, we have to talk about needles from across the stage. Oh yeah. Sheik's movement is neutral, like just pure ground movement, pretty superior to Bayo's. But Bayo, we people people have watched enough Bayo to know um, Bayo winning off of a few advantageous spots, yeah. getting lots of percent and threatening death is something Bayonetta can do almost any percent. And well, especially against Sheik. Yeah. Sheik is one of the big offenders of being a light fast follower. where she's very easy to combo. You've seen a lot of tragic moments where Bayos will kill Sheik as low as actually 0%. Mm -hmm. um, a big thing about this matchup in particular is that Bayo has a lot of like strange and Ooh, very good... Wow. Excellent bouncing fish. Just a nice call out. But Bayo has a lot of like burst options. Despite her movement being not nearly as good as Sheik's, and she can get stuffed out very easily because her hitboxes are big, but not exactly very disjointed. Mm -hmm. um, Bayo just has some options that can come out of nowhere and catch people off guard. Yeah, regardless of how ready you can side be. B. Thing in side B. Uh, side B, heel slide, yep. a lot of uh, her aerials actually, in a certain sense. And her grab actually goes further than you would expect. It's sort of as a Captain Falcon. All right, Drew. All right, my guy. Like, he, he got. You tried. Yeah, I understand. Sheik's tend to roll quite a bit because she has a really good roll, but uh, not going to hit the mark there. Still. So. Oath is moving this forward, and Oath's just taking what he can get. Every time Bayo land, oh, yeah. tries to land, needles. Every time he's just taking the small hits, he doesn't need to extend, and ooh, that DI was... Mm. Yeah, Oath's habits, like particularly defensive habits, I think have been a little bit lacking, and Dro has the ability to recognize that and capitalize on them a little bit oh. later in this set. He but whenever he's up. in advantage state, he's actually been just going for the true hits. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. Just a little, a little, a little fist on top. <laughs> the step dashing. But yeah, Oath's advantage state has actually been very, very clean. But I think his defensive habits are going to get picked up on a little bit if he doesn't start mixing it up. Okay. Yeah, Needle's that close. So you're going to get punished somehow. Yeah, it's actually really rare for Bayo to actually punish Needle's, except for if she side bees above them somehow. But even then, it's a pretty tight window. All right. Yeah, this is what you got to do. Just play this. Bayo has to get around it somehow. It's on her to try to make a move. Oh, yep, no that's it. air dodge. It's actually strange. I would expect Dro to not get hit by that bouncing fish. I couldn't tell if he was DIing away in the forward there or not. Mm, it was pretty ambiguous. Either yeah. way, I don't. The bouncing fish pro definitely wasn't true. That's right. that's the thing. It's never true at that percent because yeah. regardless of what you do, Bayo's bat within being frame one actually makes it so you can react to the start of a bouncing fish, particularly yeah. to the sound effects. Poor void. That's all, oh, yeah. that's all I got to think of poor void. Um, yeah, the only time you hit that bouncing fish is typically if they don't do anything or if they just air dodge immediately. Yeah. And now we are getting the di the Bayo switch. Or the, the, Bayo Diddy. Switch. the Diddy switch. I would expect this. Um, Bayonetta, like, I feel like Dro didn't know enough about how to play neutral versus Sheik. Yeah, and it's strange because Dro is a Sheik main, and Dro and I have been practice partners for a long time. We've practiced the matchup quite a bit, but he is always used to doing it from the other side. Yeah. So he's sort of used to, you know, Sheik dying and getting hit by a bunch of strange things, but at the same time, he's never practiced doing it himself. Yeah, okay, that's not going to do it. Diddy's up there was nerfed. Yeah, thank man. Sakurai. We see Oath actually going up quite <laughs> went, a bit of percent here. <laughs> he went wow. under the needles. He went under the needles. Yeah, there's actually a couple of hitboxes, especially at a notably up smash, where the certain parts of the animation will duck underneath the needles. Oh, Dro boy. actually knows them very well and has complained about them as a Sheik main. Oh, boy. Still, we see Oath doing actually a really good job here. Yeah, Oath uh, is one of those players that does study like all like a lot of those Wisconsin players on his own just for yes. fun. Oath and is um, he's always been sort of on the cusp. He's been a gatekeeper sort of player in Wisconsin. Dro yeah. has been PR for a long time, I believe HM the past two seasons or so, but they definitely had close sets. This would be a breakthrough for Oath though, because I don't believe he's gotten a win on Dro ever. Ooh, Ooh the very last hit of the up air going to come through. All right, just holding it out. Oh wow, the needles <laughs> killed the banana. That's the thing that kind of let Dro land for free. That let uh, Oath land for free. Uh, needles killed banana. The F smash wasn't guaranteed. Right, it was a really interesting interaction, and Dro's just looking very, very hard to end this right now. Uh, Oath will die to F smash here. Maybe to this up air. Y yeah. Yep. It's about 123 ish. 
Good uh, timing. I believe he was dead no matter how he DI'd there from the looks of it, because it looked like he had the good DI. Yeah, it, it, it didn't matter. There's no cross up. Yeah, Sheik being so light with her fast faller status makes it so there's a lot of kill windows for her very specifically. And so, okay, nothing. Gonna hold shield on that platform. It's like, I'm scared. I don't want to deal with this. Dro's actually been getting hurt a lot because he's been pinned on these platforms, and Sheik has a lot of options to poke. Uh, Oath hasn't really been poking too much, as much as he has just been sort of reading his defensive options up on there. Yeah, and it's not like Diddy's, Diddy's defensive options out of shield on a platform, not the greatest things right. in the world. Like, on a recovery, getting to with either side, sure. But now, to do side B, you have to jump side B. And Sheik on the ground, got a lot of space. And now we get the bouncing mission. No! Okay, oh. he didn't do the thing. He did not forward throw. I expected forward throw side B. Oh no, that would have actually been crazy to see. I don't think I've ever seen a Diddy Kong go for that. But yeah, this is going to be really hard. Um, Ooh, Dro Oath is pushing a little too hard right now. Yeah, he actually almost ended up getting that back here, but at the same time, he's getting a little bit antsy here and betraying, like, he's showing his hand. And like, oh no? Yeah, like, bouncing fishes like that are not what you want right now. He you doesn't need to go in right now. Yeah, like, honestly, he's been keeping Dro the ledge a lot of the time. Fishing for that late nair, even just the forward tilt is fine. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not going to risk anything by going for it. Just play it safe. Get these needles. Get that Get that banana. Make him... Yeah. Ah. If he's not careful, he'll die to forward smash here at this percent. Yeah. Even down tilt up smash. Uh, not already? I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. Already. Look, at, look sure. at that. For, look now at that. for sure. Yeah, for sure. Down tilt you bear at the ledge, too. Oh. 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 Been... Tire said it would be really heartbreaking to see him go down like this. Yeah. I think more, needle, uh, more needles. Honestly. Yeah, because okay. he's been up almost the entirety of this game, like, in a very big way. Ooh, really, really risky monkey flip. Gonna get the dash attack, but not enough quite yet. Yeah, double jab stuff is gonna start being pretty scary. Oh, oh yeah, no. He will die to up tilt. Oh, no, please. Please don't die to up tilt. Oh, he's no. not gonna connect the up air here. Yeah, too much rage on Diddy Kong to make that work. Oh, bad for the wrong way. Yeah. Also, might be getting like, nervous. also, it wasn't even like a jump cancel, it was just like a dash cancel. Oh, oh he probably will die to forward tilt here. Yeah, he's he's nearing that percent. I think like 190-ish, oh no invincibility. Dro God. wasn't there, oh! but he... Super good reaction from Dro on the neutral get up, and he's going to survive another game. Right. Yeah, oath has got to be hitting himself in the head there. He's, I was he's... half expecting him to pop out of up smash in all honesty. Hmm. It, and there's some factors behind popping out of Diddy's of Smash. Like, you'll pop out when you don't expect it. it, it it's like, oh, cool. Yeah, with all the rage, I was just like, if oh. it happened, I wouldn't be surprised. And it looks like we're going to get another switch from Dro here. If I was Dro, I wouldn't have been happy about that win. He might go for the Sheik Ditto. Okay, okay yeah. never mind. Diddy conquer game three. Yeah, I know Dro doesn't particularly like the Ditto, but at the same time, Sheik is his most polished character. I don't know if he's ever actually played the Ditto in bracket thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know. I would maybe Marshall went Sheik just for fun maybe. against Dro at some point. But that was if he did that, that was about the time Dro was a Toon Link main. Yeah. Rip, yeah. Rip Dro's very particular about his matchups. Um, there was a point in time where Dro actually cycled through 10 characters or so in bracket consistently. So he has a lot of depth of knowledge, but at the same time, it's like... Oh, this has sort of been catching on to Dro's disadvantage, I feel. It's not just that. Oh, advantage. Like, he, he, you were right before. He's been fishing more with uh, just, like, weak hit nair. He's not, like, threatening strong hit nair. He's doing right. like, bouncing fish stuff from ledge, from disadvantage, just to be like, all right, if, if this hits you, instead of kind of playing that patient game, kind of waiting for air dodges, like, right there. He would, Diddy Kong got into that, like, chic, that chic, like, Marthitis percent, and it was just like, right. oh, well, I have to wait for F tilt to kill now. He, uh, he might be getting a little bit antsy in the sense that. Especially in that last game when he was up by so much percent. It's the sort of thing where Diddy Kong is that character that's very hard to get in on. Sheik has the neutral to contest him. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's so scary, it feels like, when you're actually letting Diddy Kong play the game versus you. Yeah, people aren't getting hit by that EVO winner anymore. It is 2018. <laughs> we we don't get hit by that. Yeah, we jump now. We are, we're we're not going to air dodge on that platform. Oh, DI'd in. Ooh, that was actually a pretty generous bouncing fish hitbox, all things considered. Dude, that thing's huge. I mean, yeah, but... You know, the hitboxes, they can look a little strange sometimes. Okay, and yeah. Up, up tilt, not going to do it yet. Yeah, I believe if he got the super strong hit at the very back swing of it, it might have killed. But now... <laughs> don't make me cry. Oh, <laughs> my God. I've been stage spiked by Diddy Kong's up tilt before. I don't know if you remember that, but you were watching. Mm. 
Oh! He had the call out. Yeah, he did. He had it. But, like, I, th I think he didn't want to down tilt because he was. Oh. Is he dead? Yeah. Uh, he might not be. Yeah, okay. okay. That's a case of barrels locking Diddy Kong out <laughs> of his actual inputs for a very long time. If for he no in, real reason. If he inputted barrels earlier, like, as he was getting hit, then that would have been fine. Because once you're, like, when you're doing barrel stuff, you can't really get stage tech. Or stage yeah. spike. So, it's like, just... it would have been nice. But Jero's going to take, or Oath's going to take this. 44%. This is kind of what you want. Hitting out the monkey clip. Yeah. Penny to again. He's catching out Dro on every single option he's going for here. Only just dropping it now after getting nearly 70% on him. Yeah. And look at Oath is playing very safe right now. This is the kind of play I would expected him to pull out last game. But now he's just doing the, I'm going to go in and get hit by up tilt. Yeah. Um, but he's playing a much more reactive game from what I can tell now. When you're Sheik, you can do that. Yeah, for sure. Sheik you has have the frame data to support it. Yeah, exactly. And Dro, unless he, a Dro has to be on like another mental level right now. He hasn't really been playing with Banana at all either. He hasn't touched that move much. He's yeah. relying on fair. <gasps> Did I take his jump? Okay, no. <gasps> that was really scary. Um, Dro has actually hasn't gotten a chance to pull Banana on very many occasions. Like. Even right there, he should have gotten punished for it. Oath even, has actually been catching Even when banana. he does pull banana, he hasn't really used it. Yeah, Oath has been doing a good job of catching it. He's been spacing around Dro in a way where it's hard for him to actually use banana when he does pull it out. And he's been keeping him pretty consistently on platforms or near ledge to a point where it's very difficult for him to get it out to begin with. All right, strong hit in air. Hitting fair on, on she Diddy Sheik's shield. Yeah, Oath actually almost ended up getting that late in air there. That's not going to kill quite yet, but almost with the cross yeah, up. That bad DI. Okay. Oh boy, yeah, there's very little Drogue can do to actually kill through suspend this percent. If he gets down tilt forward smash on the very, very edge, maybe. Ooh, good read on the... He All all Oath needs right now is just percent. That's all you want. He doesn't need to be, be um, go for much. Oh, the trump, that though. That should have been a kill. That's it. That's <gasps> oh, it. Needles, needles bouncing, bouncing fish. fish. Confirms forever. That was an excellent reaction from him, too, realizing he had to use his double jump to actually reach with the bouncing fish. Yep. Because a lot of Sheiks would have immediately just started buffering bouncing fish. I'm going to make sure I hit this and just whiffed it.